What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. So, today, this is like a reaction, but in a way, a review. Same, in a way, but apparently, Easy Mill and Steve Knight, Stevie Knight, hashed it out, as you see here. Now, if y'all don't remember, if y'all not keeping, what's it like saying? To recap basically where easy mail did a freestyle on the bootleg kev podcast and such if you haven't go check out my reaction to that and he was going in and such right so and then he was then he went into like talking about certain re in a way if y'all remember well to all my people who to all the filipinos out there they were telling me who was he talking about i was saying like in that video who is he talking about? Who is he aiming at? Talking about the reactions and such. So y'all saying that he was going at reactors, right? And I didn't even know. In particular, I see that y'all were saying he was going up to particularly like Stevie Knight, Stevie Knight and such. Y'all saying were other two like Grizzy Hendrix and somebody and other people named like Michelle and so and such. But y'all mostly were saying Stevie Knight, Stevie Knight. So as you see here, apparently they came together and such and they talking it out. So, hey, all I'm going to say is hold up. Before I even start, I want to make sure. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to look at my OBS for a quick little second. Y'all going to be in this journey with me. So I'm not, this is all unedited. So I'm keeping this all in. But hopefully, right? Y'all still being able to hear me and such. So give me a minute, yeah. I'm like I said, I'm keeping this all in. No edits whatsoever. We going straight, raw, straight, unedited, straight uncut. Pause on that. Maybe. I don't know. But hold on. Okay, we good, we Gucci. So we good, we Gucci. Alright. So y'all can hear me and such. So let's see that they did hash it out and such. So hopefully. That means, but I then again, hopefully with this one, they ain't at battle and such. Hopefully at this we came to some understanding, but I don't know about the other two. But hopefully with this one we got some understanding. So we about to check this out. We on the road to 2K and such. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. You know what I mean? But like when I heard you was have fucking did a whole like diss record on me, like what the fuck? Like I'm a fucking fan, dog. Like I'm not like this real enemy is easy out here. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm on your side, dog. You feel me? Like he fucking shoot the shots at me. I, I mean I take it. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of y'all told me to go watch his video, and I did on his reaction to the realist with him and Eminem. And in a way, I gotta say. When he came to Easy Mill's side, when he was hearing Easy Mill rapping and such, he was okay with it and such, but in a way, in a way, he's kind of like saying he was not, he was not saying that he's trash or nothing, but he was saying like under, you're under, you're like making a song with Eminem, so sometimes Eminem is known to wash people on, they, on their song and such, so. I'm just so in a way I kind of agree with him. Not to say an easy meal wasn't trash. Y'all saw my reaction and such. If you haven't, go check out my reaction to Easy Meal's real song with Eminem. Both of them did fire. I'm just saying with Eminem, he did Easy Meal in a way just alley ooped it. Cause hey, Easy Meal was going in on his part. I ain't saying I ain't saying he was not trash. But Eminem, you already know with the whole situation with Eminem and such, so hey. It was only right that Eminem had to kill it with his verse and such. So hey, it is what it is. But let's see what we can get here with this. So like I said, hopefully we clear out the air and however, such. However stuff happens, just happens, you know? Yeah, bro. So, I mean, I go ahead and just... uh uh acknowledge the elephant in the room dog you know what i'm saying because there i'm telling you when i woke up that day my fucking phone going off and more like <laughs> fucking easy meal fucking blasted you dog he ate your shit son like he just bodied you 
I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck y'all talking about, bro? Like, Easy Bill coming after me? You know what I'm saying? Me? But uh, I'm like, all right, all right. Um, And we'll get into, like, the freestyle in a minute, bro. But I just want to put it out there. And then you, you already know just because the type of energy I was on when I hit you up. I was like, bro, right after I did the reaction, sent you the DM, and what I say? Said it's all love. Uh, Said it's all love. Right? Yeah. Said yeah. it's all love, so, dog. Uh, you know what I mean? And, yeah. Opinion, and I have my opinion about your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, that's, but yeah, but that's that's that's. But that's that's the good thing about like this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's entitled to have their opinion, and dog, and this Two. shit brings us all attention, more attention, and you know what I'm saying? Just the competitive. Even I'm not a rapper and shit, dog. But it's just that whole energy about this rap shit gets everybody's eyes on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like uh, that's why, bro. Because like you've been doing your thing too, because. Like, in some way, some form, like, you have your takes, and you're not afraid to, you know, throw that jab out the, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, all right, we'll just go straight, good cut straight to it, bro. So, as far as me, because when I heard the freestyle, dog, I, I, outside, like, the, 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 the latter part, like, the last part you you did before you uh, started uh, speaking in... Uh, your, your mother language and shit. I thought all that shit was for me, so I'm just going to address that. Like, what about what I said as far as my opinions on your verse and the realist got you, got you tight? Like, what was it that set you off? Well, to me, now look, this is a 20-minute like, interview and such, so hey, we white, so I hope you pull up a seat, put up anything. If y'all real easy meal fans like y'all say y'all are, and you've been showing love to my channel anytime when I react to any easy meal. You better watch all the way through. But I could think of a few things like you were saying about how this nigga, that Eminem dog walked him and such, had his whole D in his mouth and all that. Like, that's kind of a couple of things. So, I'm just saying. That's. Um, for me, to be honest, bro, it's just like in light of me as a person, like, I looked up to this YouTube thing and, you know, like, and basically like your content at that time, like I was trying to get to you, you know what I'm saying? Cause for me, not even knowing how to speak the language properly yeah. was, uh, yo, I got to do something. So it like that threw me off, bro. Like you not turning up to what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying like, yeah. That, like that's on some crunch timelines. Like what? Ah, oh, you can't. What? Like, that's that. It was wild to me. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. But was it? Was it just like? It was just the fact that you thought I wasn't driving to your shit like I typically do. That's what got you in your bag. Yeah, cause like, bro, you fuck with IDK and you ain't fuck with that. I was like, what? What is happening right now? What? <laughs> yeah, but I see that I, I, cause I had to go back because the shit like the first of all I ain't take shit to fucking heart what you saying, bro. Because like when I when I listen to this shit, I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? This is his crab. This is what he passionate about. Like, yeah, you clearly can... it was something he wasn't jabbing what the fuck I said and it brought that animal out of him. Me, you had. Him. But for me, it's like as a fan of Easy Mail, bro. Like clearly you seen the reactions I've done to your shit. Like I fuck with you, right? And. And I, I've been a fan, and from what I recall from the reaction, I didn't say anything that was, like, tearing you down. I just, for me personally, I, I hold you to, like, a fucking standard, bro. And... But, like I said, within... Like, look, I'm not trying to... Look, for some of y'all who was commenting in that reaction that I did to his freestyle, hey, some of y'all were, like, savage on, like, it and such. Like, one comment was talking about how Steve Nash is... This and that in the third. Hey, I, I could pull it up on my phone, but look, it got a bunch of message, a bunch of comments on that video, and I saw a few ones that were in a way y'all was digging into Steve Knight. So, so look, I ain't trying to say nothing. And if if anyhow Steve Knight, Stevie Knight ever sees this and such, bro, look, don't kill me. Because I watched the video. Like I said, I watched that. Y'all yeah, told me to go watch the reaction, and I did. And in a way, he certain comments, like I said, he was kind of... Took me, right? Just me, and my personal opinion. Kind of being a little bit rude, in a way. 
saying that he was not not saying nothing when you literally you had the lyrics on the screen and such what you mean he wasn't saying nothing he was saying something but i guess like i said since he has like since you're because my theory is that if you're on the if you're making a song and you got eminem as a feature bro you have to come crazy because if you don't i'm not saying you can't come how you come and such pause on that pause anything when i say that's freaky and all but when you're coming on a song with eminem and such you gotta go but you gotta go crazy on your ish that's all that's all i'm saying or at least have a solid ass verse that people won't say that he just dog wash you and such at least saying that you was on the ver you was like almost up there with him and such that's all i'm saying not to, and I never said this shit was whack. I praise you. Like matter of fact, I did a whole reaction to my reaction of that because I wanted to see exactly what the fuck I said that like sent easy on this rampage and shit. And it was one part. Like, all right, I was like, it was like, all right. I, I think I think this one part probably could have. I forgot I said it when this part. I was like, yeah, Eminem had dunked on you and shit. And yeah, bats in your mouth. So I was like, yeah, okay, like I was all right, saying. all right, baby, 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 that baby that set him off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, no, no, uh, 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 uh. But, but I put that, that, put that, but that would make more sense to me because, like, outside of that, it's just constructive criticism. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, dog. You know what I mean? Like, because you know, prior to this YouTube shit, like, I wasn't really fucking with Eminem. You know what I mean? And YouTube brought me in and got me to the point where, like, I think Eminem is a goddamn goat. But even with him, even with my perspective of him being the goat or one of the goats of this bitch, I still hold him to a higher standard. And if he falls short of that, I'm gonna hold him accountable. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just my, it's just my opinion too. Like a lot of motherfuckers said you went crazy and shit, but like like when it comes to when it comes to cause I heard like for me when when you in your bag in your bag bag and and then, and then what make it what 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 made more sense to me is that like I heard, I saw the interview you had with with uh, a radio show and you gave the backstory of like how y'all put the verse together and I come to find out you had that verse written before Eminem even got on Ooh, you know what I'm saying yeah. and that's so that made yeah. all the sense in the world to me come like bro I was like out of all these motherfuckers out here that's rapping dog easy meal can like goddamn swing or at least make it like okay easy he's here he he's fucking making it debatable like swing it with Eminem and shit you know what I mean and anytime you're gonna track with Eminem it's gonna be like ah uh, they're gonna hold they gonna they gonna hold you like I did I hold you to a fucking for me like for me I feel like your point like the our point of view the the waiting time you hear me from like Eminem like just his content alone like I felt like you know the overshadow of that too like y'all yeah. waiting on to hear of his voice. And probably like the constants of me being around and then his like long ass pause. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I felt like. Yeah. Yeah, I was um, but no, I, I so mean, I, I I can't um, speak for everybody else. I can only like, you know, voice what my feeling was about it, bro. And I know I know Easy got it in his bag for at least for me personally, but okay. All right, like Easy <laughs> out here got them punch it with M. You know what I'm saying? And the fact and that hey. you had wrote, wrote that verse before Eminem had even got on makes all the sense in the world. Like if 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 you had wrote that verse during the time mm. Eminem wrote that verse, I think your verse would have been a whole lot different. True, could have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's why, if you actually heard the song any time the the past again, that's why you could see on the second verse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like totally change. And, yeah like choices and flow pattern because i finally found out that it was him i had first verse the first hook then found out damn wrote the second verse then hook i right, do what you do do what you do go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Shit, i wouldn't but mind like I said, either i took it as a compliment for me personally bro like if easy getting this fucking mad at me for fucking having an opinion, bro. Like that means that means you re like respect what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's what. Yeah. I, that's how. I like honestly, if we're really thinking about it, it's basically like this. Even if he wasn't trying to be saying he wasn't whack or anything, right? But the fact that Easy Mill went on like a podcast to like really give his opinion in a way in a freestyle, like give his opinion on it like that. Hey, some people will say that's oh that's a diss and all. Hey, honestly, to me, 
I would feel like that would be a compliment too, because that means that he really watches not just only like Stevie Knight and such, but other reactors as well. Like, because he just said, because a while ago he said about how he watches the reactors and such. I mean, for goodness sakes, he makes he made a song with Screw with this The Righteous and Ratchet. If you haven't, go check out my reaction to that. And hey, that just goes to show you that once you like. It just says, in a way, it just shows you that it's as long as you pay attention to the ones who help you on the way your journey and such. Who knows? You might want to collab with them again and such on some type of shit. Just saying. Hard to get it, and and <laughs> vice versa, bro. Like, if if I was to put myself in your shoes, I'm like, bro, like motherfuckers have expectations are easy. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, I, knew, I already knew, like, the stands that you was going to fucking go crazy on me. But, like, when yeah. I heard you was, have fucking did a whole, like, diss record on me, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm a fucking fan, dog. Like, I'm not, like, this real enemy is easy out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm on your side, dog. You feel me? Like, he fucking shoot the shots at me. I, I mean, I take it. Like, I, 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 I fucking, I sacrificed myself to have that dog come out. You know what I mean? But I'm on, I'm on your side, fam. You feel me? All right, all right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Just uh, yeah. well, I guess in terms of like me throwing jabs at you, I'm a I'm a throw one your way. Hold on, uh, I'm curious though, bro. Though mm -hmm. a fight, man. A fight. <laughs> hey, no, no. Yeah, bro, I, I did. I did a whole. I did a whole video about like my my experience with that shit, bro. And I, I mean, I just... think like the the day I was probably too busy. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like. Uh, like, and then I watched like a little bit, like, damn, bro, I was so upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was, I was well, upset too, but like, if well, you, I, I, there ain't no excuses, bro. I mean, there are excuses, but at the end of the day, like, I didn't get what I wanted to get done. I'm going to get back in the fucking ring, goddamn ASAP, dog. But like, point, like, moral of the story is, dog, I got in my head and I blacked out and I wasn't thinking right. You know what I'm saying? So oh. like, if you've never been in the ring before, it's kind of hard to like relate to it, like, I, I I beat myself. Like that motherfucker didn't beat me. I beat myself. Like I saw black. I wasn't I wasn't doing anything that I had been training for. So I feel like I let myself down, let all my fucking fam down, my camp down, and all that shit, bro. But I'm 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 gonna get back in there, dog. You know what I mean? Thinking that inside the ring? Nah, Is so that... cause like what? Cause the dude I don't even like mentioning. I, I bro, the the worst part about that situation is that that clown is part of my narrative, bro. Like he's a fucking clown. He's a clown, <laughs> and he's part of my fucking narrative, dog. I hate that shit. That shit eats me alive, dog. Y'all gotta let me know, cause if I'm not mistaken, he isn't he like a boxer or so. Like this, like look, hear me out when I say this. With Stevie Knight, I've seen it throughout the years and such of watching certain reactors. It's few little times I've seen him and such, right? So I didn't keep up with him as much and such. This is like my first time. In, well, not saying first time, or out throughout this year and such, I've seen him more recently and such. So, y'all gotta let me know if, of any Stevie Knight fans out there and such. He's like, if he a uh, box, he's pretty. He is a boxer because he's talking about the ring and such. So, I didn't even. So I didn't even know that this nigga boxed before. Before I even saw this and such, and hearing him saying it, I didn't know this nigga was a boxer. You know what I mean? And if 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 you saw my my response to how I felt about the fight, the video I dropped, like the the first time I got I was put on the canvas is because the motherfucker stepped on my foot, but not but I knew I you I, I have a fucking uh, I zoomed in on when that shit happened, bro. Like this motherfucker six five two fifty stepped on my foot, so I'm trying to back up. That's why I went down. But it looks like I got knocked down. So once that shit happened, I'm like, oh fuck. It looks like to the world, this motherfucker just put me on the goddamn ground and my fucking head was gone. At that point, I was toast, right? And so I, yeah, I just... That, that, that point in terms of, like, your video, I heard up until that point, like, um, when you said, like, damn, that's crazy, like, the, 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 like, the situational, like, you know, change and, like, your thought in terms of, like, you know, fight, you know, situation. And that's, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro, you, 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 you fucking win some, you lose some, dog. And you know what I mean, like that's part of my narrative, dog. But the but the 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 revenge tour is gonna be that much sweeter, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I'm 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 gonna come back at it, dog. But that ain't what I, this that ain't what this is about, bro. But when I, <laughs> hey when I when I wait look when I had that fight when I when I when I fight again, bro. You, you when I fight when I fight again, you gotta pull up, dog. Ah. When I fight again, you gotta pull up. I'm probably gonna fight like maybe December, January sometime. You know I'm gonna test, test the abdomen. Let's see. Hey, what's up, you bro? can take. <laughs> what's up, dog? What's Easy. Up, <laughs> what's up, man? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. We love you, but nigga, let's be honest. Look at him and look at you, my nigga. Let, it's basically like this. There's different battles when you're saying to somebody. When it comes to like a rap battle and such, you killing him. No doubt about that. But as in like a ring, like a boxer type fight and such, or wrestling type fight, nah, nigga. We love you in your music and all, and I'm not trying to question you about your fighting skills. I don't, I'm not trying to say that. But, my nigga, if you're talking about like boxing, boxing, with all due respect, easy, this nigga is sweeping you. I'm sorry. Because we know you can dance, we know you can sing, we know you can rap. But nigga, I don't think you can box like how he is. And I'm pretty sure I've never seen him box yet. But judging by his like, like his figure and such, I'm pretty sure this nigga will knock you the sh out. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, but um... But uh, what else was going like easy meal fans? Come on, I'll be realistic. If anyhow these two were to ever like put up a boxing match, do you really think, as much as you love him in your in the music and such, realistically in like stature, like figure and such, you really think easy meal is gonna knock this man out? He might have a chance of like f hitting some blows and such, but realistically try to like. Like, knock him out, not happening. Not happening one iota. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say, bro. It's not. Gonna say. Oh, real shit, dog. Well, hey, I don't know if you're going to mention them by name, but, but the people in the comments told me you was throwing jabs at other people in the songs, too. Right? Yeah. Do you want to mention it's them? Like Do you want to mention their names? It's nah, no names, no need. Because, because, uh, <laughs> because of what I heard, I, 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 I probably, I, I knew that was probably gonna happen, dog. But from what I heard, who you was talking about, like the people that you threw jabs at, is motherfuckers I don't fuck with. You know what I mean? So like that was, that was, that was. Oh, so he that, I don't know. After I cut the camera off, and then we'll, and I want you to tell me he was talking about after we we record this. Cause I don't even want to get, I don't want to get in that juice. But oh, we, oh, I know. Hey, y'all Easy Mail fans let me know, so you already told me, so y'all, you two can cut it off all you want. Easy Mail may not say it to him on camera, but nigga, y'all told me, so I know. But, I but, know for a fact. But the, the fact that I think I know who you were talking about, and bro, and I don't fuck with them, I don't fuck with them, so then it's like, bro, that was the, the probably the most disrespect that I felt. From this freestyle is that I was associated with these clowns from Easy, bro. I was like, "Fuck, fuck!" What he talking about? It's just the fact that I'm associated with these motherfuckers, bro. Because I'm not a hater, dog. I'm not a hater. I'm not a troll. I fuck with Easy. I may talk a little shit, dog, but I hold Easy up here, bro. Like you, one of the nicest young motherfuckers out here doing it. You know what I mean? And to know that this motherfucker put me in a goddamn fucking soup with these clowns, like, ah, oh, bro, for real. How does motherfucker think about me, dog? Like, come yeah. on, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, so bro. <laughs> that's that's it, bro. Like, it's just crazy, cause you know, I I would say I relate mm -hmm. in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Like, in terms of people attaching attaching themselves to like you know the the ride and making a hell of a lot of you know mayhem for them. Even more, just because they try to like make it seem it's like you know all sweet and you know. So for me, I don't want to. Y'all gotta let me know for all the like y'all was saying it was Grizzy Hendrix 
and Michelle and Snow, y'all say? Because throughout that entire freestyle, he was saying shots at him and such. But we see that that's clear out and such. But y'all were also saying about Easy Meal, who was also taking shots at Rizzy Hendrix and Michelle. Now, like I said, I did see like comments saying who was it shooting at and such. And as y'all saying when you're Stevie Knight. But also going to more detail and such, like why was it like Grizzly Hendrick and why was it like Michelle and Snow, y'all say it was something like that with them too. So y'all go into details of why Easy Mill also took a shot at those three. So yeah. say no names, but I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. And that makes me think about another thing though, because like at the end of the day, bro, like this is all it's all for the games. It's cool. Like I, I, I don't give. Like we cool, dog. Like I don't know. Yeah, obviously. But, but the fact that the most glaring thing to me outside of this, outside of this shit, like realistically, like you know, what I'm saying, trying to uh, give, like, give you game is that like it's just constructive criticism for me. You know what I mean, my, constru yeah. my constructive criticism puts you in your bag. Yeah, like, like made you feel a way to like address me in a fucking diss record. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm because. It's not like he's saying he was whack or anything because the fact that he said that he put him to a high to, like a high state in search or whatnot that means he wants that expect because like i said earlier whenever if you're a, if you're an artist and you got a and your type of talent your type of skill your type of rapping has the is like on the in in a way you can say almost it's on the same level as eminem or not just saying it's almost, but like it has the caliber of making Eminem come out to collab with you and such. I'm just saying, if you got one of the greatest lyricists in the music industry to come on a song, to be featured on a song with you, you gotta go crazy with it. That's all we. That's all I'm saying. Cause as a fan, if I'm a, if fans like us are a fan of your music and we see that we you also have one of the li best lyricists in this music industry on your song. We expect you to go crazy. And if we're fans of him, we expect you to go crazy. So if anyhow we're saying that it wasn't like it wasn't like hitting and such, we would say it's it's a cool verse. It was a great verse, but it wasn't like on the level of how Eminem was killing it and such. So I kinda agree with what he's saying about how it's construct constructive criticism. Hey dog and real shit, I didn't really say nothing like that for for compared to like real trolling shit you know what i'm saying so it's like especially with you attached to m now and you got the fucking magnifying glass on you that much fucking more bro like you gonna have to get some fucking thick ass skin dog like if it take if it takes a, a fan of you someone that's in support of you just you know what i'm saying like i i fuck with easy but this this wasn't it and this is an opinion dog i wasn't talking shit you know what i'm saying and they got you feeling away like what happened what's gonna happen when somebody really like man fuck this motherfucker he trash like fuck what he talking about da, 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 da. you know what i'm saying what's gonna happen then dog <laughs> you know what i'm saying well, you feel me though them niggas i can feel like you can you feel yeah. me yeah i mean Ingus. Now for them niggas who are like trolling, trolling and such. Now I ain't gonna lie, them is the niggas you gotta go after. Cause if if he wasn't saying that he, cause since he wasn't trolling you and he was giving you, cause still like us, cause basically in that reaction where I was watching his, his his like review on the Easy Meal Eminem realist song. Even though he wasn't like saying it wasn't trash or anything, right? He's not saying it wasn't trash or anything. But it's just like like I said earlier, when you're on the song with Eminem and such, you they hold you to a high high platform and such, right? Cause you your type of skill got Eminem to come on a song with you. So we we as fans of you expect you to go crazy. But it was like a solid, but y'all saw my reaction, like I said, but for other people, they're probably going to say it was a solid verse. But when Eminem came in and search and started ding, ding, bam, at some people, hey, don't take it as a diss when we say, man, this nigga killed you on your own shit. Like, that's all I'm saying. And for all the easy meal stands out there, calm down. I'm not saying easy meal wasn't trash or anything. 
because y'all saw my reaction we saw how easy meal did and such like i said y'all saw my reaction we know easy meal killed his thing he did his thing he went he he did what he was supposed to do and the fact that he said he had the fact that now that i'm hearing that this verse was written before eminem ever signed him and such that makes it more better because he knew what he had planned he just knew it i guess like uh i i got my thick i got my skin thickened already by a lot of the things so um that's not even regards to like what all this internet stuff like how we even came about knowing yeah. how you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's just sorry if y'all see like, me always me, i hope I hope the best for everyone, you know, and I just want everybody to turn up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I just want and you not turning up there. It's just like, but, a like, but like, but like, but like, but that's, but that's, 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 that's interesting though, bro. Because it's like, if someone just is not vibing with your shit or fucking with your shit, they the enemy at that point. Just because you, you, they didn't like it. They're not vibing with your shit the way you think they need to. Uh, for a lot of the reasons that I gotta say, Easy Mill, next time when you're video chatting with somebody, get a better camera or get a better something, cause the too much, too much glitchy glitching on your part. God damn. I have been like, you know, where I came from, you know, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out to, to the two two zero zero two two zero zero. I came from, like, I take. I take things with a grain of salt, but not too far to where I like let it, you know, downplay. Nah, you ain't taking shit. With, like, you ain't I, taking shit with a grain of salt, motherfucker. You trying to clap back, motherfucker. You ain't <laughs> taking shit with a grain of salt. You taking shit. You taking a boulder to the face. This motherfucker not fucking with my shit. Then fuck this motherfucker, <laughs> dog. Exactly. Type of time you on, bro? Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't yeah. say fuck with me, then fuck you, bro. Yeah, like you can't say you're taking a grain of salt when nigga, if somebody didn't like your shit, instant you clap, you clap back at them with a freestyle. Fuck all that. <laughs> but like he said, he got thinner, thinner, thicker skin now and such. And hey, and I just saw on Twitter recently, right, that I see like a nerdcore artist that I reacted to, Peso P. He like he like replied to a comment about how somebody. In a way that the social bots and such bully him off of Twitter and such, or deleted his YouTube account or something like that. But even Peso Pete said, "Like, nigga, you gotta realize that when people on the internet are gonna like troll or gonna like say some shit and such, no matter if it's on Twitter or so, or X or whatever it's called, or X now and whatnot, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on YouTube." No matter which social media app, it's basically like this. You gotta have some, you gotta have some thick ass skin. Cause nine times out of ten, these same people who be trolling on the internet and such, that's the thing. Their whole entire life is based around the internet. That means they are never going out to hang out with other real people and such. They haven't, they basically have no life. So... It's in a way like this and such. Sometimes you just got to have a thick skin. Like me, I don't care. It's basically like this. For all people who might comment bad things on me, guess what? I don't care. It's basically like this. I'll, wel I'll welcome it. Because if, cause if I know I ain't messing up and such, I ain't going to say that. It's basically like this. Until when I see in my videos that I messed up on certain things, Hey, if if y'all gonna correct me and y'all come in correct, like really come correct, like respectable and such, when you correct me, then that's cool. But at the same, but at the same time, if I know I didn't say nothing wrong, or if I'm not doing some cringeworthy or not, but some of y'all wanna, but some some people wanna comment saying about how this and that and third, guess what? It's not a fact that if I'm going to delete it or not, I'm gonna leave it up there. Cause at the end of the day, nigga, I'm from Jam. You see what my you see what my shirt says, Jamaica, where it's no problem, like nigga, no problem, meaning that nigga, my country, my people from Jamaica, we are known for have we've always insulted. We come up with one of the best. We can't. 
Basically, that dicks. You want to talk about trash talking? You want to talk about insult? Nigga, we have some of the best insults in our native tongue. And trust me. The way how y'all probably want to insult us? Nigga, you think we're going to... You think that's going to hurt us? Eh, we la we will... I got to laugh off of that. So, yeah. That ain't... Good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically, it just had to be like that for a lot of the times in my life when I wasn't even here in the States, so I'm just glad that, you know, however, we came across to each other with, a, like, your opinion, in my opinion on the board, hey, you know, we keep it rolling. Yeah, but now, nah, but we was already, I mean, I don't say we was cool, but we was already, like, in communication before this, dog. I don't, I don't, I don't want to make it. I don't. I don't want to make the yeah. world. I don't want to make the world think that this beef brought us together, dog. Like you knew about me before. Like you already knew I was fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, you already knew I was fucking with you. But shit, not, 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 not after that goddamn freestyle, motherfucker. What you talking about? I'm like, bro, the fuck? Like you go to you go fucking turn a goddamn fan into a goddamn the goddamn the, 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 the ah, scum of the earth, motherfucker. Goddamn. You know what I'm but I get it though. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, dog. Like you sensitive about your shit. Like this more. But yeah, I thought, just... but real shit. I thought it was just like the nuts in your mouth that set you off. But if what I thought it was too. In your mouth that set you off. And like I said, I thought I was it too, but apparently it wasn't, I guess. It was just the, uh, you wasn't fucking with, you wasn't fucking what I was saying. And like, yeah. It's going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot more worse than, it's going to be a lot more worse shit than that. You're going to hear from other motherfuckers, bro. True. And then I heard, I heard, yeah, but that, I heard, I heard, like people in the like, comments. Like, heard. I feel like everything happened is like training, bro. I feel like everything that happened is just training me. Yeah. Still to this day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Getting like you ready. Like shit. I just went back to BMT. Yeah, yeah. I think mean, uh, motherfuckers in the comments were telling me that because I I didn't I didn't listen to any other reactions to um, the realest. I didn't. I heard some after the fact because people were like sending me shit. Um, that's irrelevant. But <laughs> like I heard that yeah. people had a lot worse shit to say about your verse than I did. Like, with some, like, hateful connotation towards it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it popped up, and I just let it all out there. That would I think. Like, that, that in life, go ahead, go ahead, bless, my head, my head. I think I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because it says like this. At the end of the day, right? I've said this before. I said it to myself. I said it recently and such to myself. Like, not to y'all, but to myself, saying about it's basically like this. If I'm an artist, right, and I, and my type of skill talent, now, and y'all probably could agree with me on this and such. If I'm an artist, and my mute and my type of skill, my type of talent, my type of like skill set and whatnot, I said that already, but you know what I mean. If my type of lyricism and such was able to get the attention of Eminem, that not only he heard what I had to say. But he wants to collab with me on a song. You don't think I'm gonna be excited about that? Hell to the hell to the mother loving. Yes, I'll be excited about that. So I would have to do my best to make sure this is like some of my best ish and such, right? Sorry, I had to clear something off my laptop. But like I said, I would have to make sure this is some of my best ish. So nine times out of ten, if whenever I get, to, if y'all hearing my verse, right? Y'all would say, oh, that's five verse and then that. And then when you get to M's verse, hey, I would just let the man do his thing. Do your thing. Because I know he going to have a whole boatload of ish to say. And then when it comes out to when I see other reactors reacting to it. And they say they will rock, rock with my part. And then when they hear M is, they probably go. And all that and such. Here's the thing. Me, I'm not going to get offended by it. Why? Because at the end of the day, no matter if you're really liking it, no matter if either you like M's verse way more than mine, you were really saying that I wasn't giving the goods and such, that if I was good enough, but you wasn't really going <clears throat> with it and such, or y'all was, or there was just going to be some trolls out there saying about, oh, this shit is whack, he's trash, I don't know why Eminem came on a song with him. Here's the thing, at the end of the effing day, especially to the trolls, right? At the end of the effing day, 
I got to col like I like if I was an artist, I got to collab with one of my idols, one of my inspirations to wanted to do this music ish, right? If I was able to get a collab with one of my idols, at the end of the day, I'm good. That means my I could keep on going with my level and search to know that I got that now I got no new confidence, new boost that because I got the likes of Eminem and such, not only to hear my stuff, but to collab with me. Straight up. And from that then and on, that makes that in a way for me as an artist, if I would say, to make my pen game go even more crazier and such. So that's how I look at it as. In light of that's how I would look at it if I was an artist. Like I, I don't want to have to uh, deal with, I feel like, you know, someone that I know I'm actually cool with to be like, you know, to it's got to be like a Zoom call or so. Like, you know, like to these haters that already do have like a bad opinion on me, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't. Uh, oh, so I, I be, so. so. Uh, like, so does it so it's like so it's like so is it so is it like you was getting negative feedback from the haters and then you heard Baker, a fan say some hating shit too and it was kind of like probably was that the thing same. and so i bet so that was probably it then why see like it's so like that like i said them are the one them type of people them are the ones i feel like you should aim at and such if you need, if you're ever gonna go to another freestyle, easy mail. If you ever see like my reaction and whatnot, because you say you pay attention to reactors, I may not be a big channel, but hopefully you pay attention. But that's what I'm saying. Like if anyhow you got haters like that, like real haters like that, aim your pen at them. Don't aim it at the ones who are giving you constructive criticism and such on how you was going in, you was doing fire on your verses and so you was doing. You did, did solid ass verses, but you could have go in a little bit more harder, cause they're the ones who actually want to support you in everything you do. But if you're going, but if the ones that are just constantly, consistently hating on you for no reason whatsoever, just to hate on you, hate on you, hate on you, no matter what, them the ones you need to aim at. That's all I'm saying, and y'all probably could agree with me too. I bet you your and, fans, and I bet you your camp was gassing you too, though, huh? Like your fans and supporters and your team and all the motherfuckers was gassing you too. Yeah. 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 It gassed me. They knew what was going on for me in the situation. Yeah. Like all of them as well. Not all of them as well. Some of them, like you know, had like said something. Like about it because it just all happens so fast as well, man. It's that's it. It's all happens so fast. Yeah. Like, you know? Hey, if you made it this way to the end, man, you're about to put down for if you made it to the end of this video, almost to the end. If you're basically watching all the way through, you better comment down below. Easy meals. Easy meal. Just comment down below, easy meal, that you're watching all the way to the end, too. Yeah, that, and that, that fucking Eminem magnifying glass hit different, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that shit. I, how do you feel about that, bro? I'm so curious. Because, like, I know, like, you know, wait, before me, like, you've been on, like, his radar, not other than No Life as well. Mm -hmm. Like, Shaq, too. Like, y'all, like, how did that feel for you? I'm curious. What in and, and, and what con what do you mean in what context how to what feel? Like, you know, um when the numbers started coming when uh like you know and you felt like probably this is uh this was like, you know, the payoff for the hard work that you put in. Like, well, you know, the for, like in the M M and then, like, you know, and reactions and stuff. But what payoff though? As far as you, as far as your collab with Eminem, is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. Like uh, just the, just the plain being a person and handling, like you know, all these people's, like you know, talk. I guess he's saying about how 
you was like a contributor to like how making Eminem seeing you and such. So yeah, I guess that's what you're saying. Like being able to see reactions from your music, from his music and such, and able to say about how you was going because of reactions like his No Life Shack, Screwface John, and probably many other big ones and such. In small ones, you can say too. Come on now, don't hate on the small reaction channels too. Now, come on. It's not like we. You need to tell me we don't. We didn't have a contribution in it. Come on now. But that's basically what he's saying. It just mean like uh, doing the reaction shit and then being a part of this whole Eminem wave and what it's turned into. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's been a ride though, dog. That's been a ride, bro. Um. I, I, bro, I owe a lot to fucking Eminem. I don't even know the motherfucker, dog. And that's, yeah. and it's, it was all organic too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did this, I started this reaction shit just based on the strength of, I thought I could break bars down better than the motherfuckers I seen doing this shit, right? Start doing that shit just on mm -hmm. shits and giggles. And then people just started sending me shit to fucking react to. And it, it was fucking. Lil Dicky, and then it was <laughs> NF. Mm. One thing I learned is that the, the white boys are in their bag about bars, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like white white boys, they they but they they white boys run YouTube. That's what I that's 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 a fucking fact. They run YouTube, bro. But like they are in their bar, they're in their bag about bars, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like because it's, yeah, it's 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 a it's education. It's it's English. It's literacy. It's a skill set. It's it's puzzles. It's pieces. It's all that shit. It takes like yeah, line. That's why I'm attracted to it. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be smart to do this rap shit. Like, and plus, he's not lying, cause let's face it, the likes of Lil, the fact that Lil Dicky for a little minute, cause he's a act, in a way you can say he's an actor now, but with the likes of like NF, Eminem, Machine Gun Kelly, Mac Miller, rest in peace. I'm just saying, like, certain white rappers and such, not to hate on the black rappers, not to hate on black rappers too, because some of them can get real lyrical with their stuff. But you can say in a way with the white rappers, they have a little bit more technicality with theirs. But all in all, it don't matter. As long as there's like lyricism involved, like how you can use syllables, use metaphors, use similes, use like some imaginative, like vivid imagined thinking and such. As long as you got that and such, and you got the skill set and the talent to able to do all it, to be honest, I wouldn't care if it was black or white. As long as it's fire, I'm cool with it. Straight up with it. Yeah, yeah, you do, you do. But I, I don't know if I could, like, agree completely with, like, um, uh, white boys ruling, like, YouTube, right? Yeah, but like the, if if seventy percent of seventy percent of the fucking viewers on YouTube are fucking white males. True. Could never knew that statistic. Yeah, bro. I know that Jordan Peterson let me know. I ain't know that shit either, bro. But that, it, it makes sense, bro. That's why. But it makes sense though because if you, demographically white boys are the white people are the majority wherever you fucking go, so it would make sense, right? But True. but I with guess. that with, with that being said, like, but in the and then but like think about it bro like think about any demographic of hip-hop in the united states bro who 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 purchases more hip-hop than anybody white people you right you right nah nah that i can't attest to that yeah. i can't attest to. and they, yeah. they support it fucking wholeheartedly they, 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 and they don't play about that shit bro and when i did my reactions bro i was i was reacting to like my shit you know what i'm saying so that means them white boys are watching my shit it's like all right you like this shit and hell, who knows? I want to see how it's basically like this. If you're a reactor of mine, if you've been watching my channel for the past four years and such, and you've been a, and in a way, not saying active watcher, but you have been a white uh, watcher of mine, you're probably white too. And who knows? I probably have a lot of white people watching me and such, which is kind of, I ain't saying it's creepy, but you know what I mean. So I'm just saying. Yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna I'm send you this motherfucker. I'm gonna send you this motherfucker, and then eventually I got the Eminem. And I wasn't even, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't checking for Eminem, bro. I was, I was a stereotypical fucking black dude. Like, nah, I ain't fucking with Eminem. I'm also a fucking corny ass white boy that fucking doing some fucking crazy raps. And then they, I fucking went down that Eminem rabbit hole. I'm like, bow, like this motherfucker will knock your fucking head off. 
Lyrically. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why, I, that's why I'm such an advocate this motherfucker now, bro. And then it turned into all of this. You know what I mean? Just on the strength of fucking Eminem. But it's just, at the end of the day, it's just the the, the relationship. I, it's, it's, it's the relatability you have with people that, 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 that ties all this shit together. That's what music is, bro. Like, it's a facts. form of communication that anybody, that people can relate to that ties y'all to, to each other. And I'm just an extension of that. You know what I'm saying? Just like with you, right? The reason I'm talking to you right now because it's an extension of this fucking YouTube shit. Right? It's, it goes full circle. Yeah, because yeah. I'm there with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like at that, I was right in my grandma's house. I remember, like, cause I was trying to make a record, bro. I was doing my best to. I had like this cheap ass laptop, mm. and I just had a guitar, and I just dropped out of college. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like a lot of the stuff I would get my head out of, like after watching Screwface Gene, you be there Gene. too. Like John, hey, nigga, this is an yeah. Eminem. Yeah, I can't wait to. Well, then again. Yeah, some people have their opinions on school face. So, hey, I love him. I don't know about y'all, but I like the guy. I like his reactions and his music. So, but other people probably has their opinion on school too. But it is what it is. But I can't wait to see what school's react. If school ever reacts to this, I can't wait to see what his reaction is going to be like. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Yeah. And yes, I do watch other people's reaction that too. Just be me and like when... You listen to, uh, I think it was Bad Meets Evil. Yeah. Yeah, it was Bad Meets when he was, uh, like, discussing about, like, Royce and, and I think it was Welcome to Hell or something. Yeah. I forgot, but that was, that was just me, bro. And that back in the Philippines, man. That's it's, tough, bro. Yeah, and that's just what to show you. Yeah, full circle like a motherfucker, bro. It's, it's, I mean, I'm sure you got to say this now, but I, I think M is your favorite rapper, huh? Obviously. Oh damn! What happened? Ah damn! Yeah, cause computer died, but you know shit happens. Damn, <laughs> man's computer dying on you. Damn. But yeah, hopefully y'all watch all the way through and such. But as you see, but as you see, the whole thing with them and such is completely squashed. So. Y'all, so for all people who was trying to shit on freaking Stevie Knight and such about how he fuck him and all that and such, y'all can stop that now. The man, Easy Mail and him hashed things out, they talked it out, and they cool. They've been cool, so yeah. But it just goes to show you that sometimes you never know who might be watching you and such, who might, or who might be a fan of you. That the fact that this rapper right here was able to listen to me and such and really take what I said to heart and being able to diss you and such on a freestyle in a way like he, like Stevie just said, I take that as a compliment. I would take that as a compliment as well because that means he really rock in a way he really took to heart, even though it was in a diss form, but really took to heart what I say. But at the end of the day, like I said, at least it was with constructive criticism because it's not like he said he was trash or anything. It was just saying that like, he wasn't matching like the energy you can say of how Eminem was coming in on such. But but for like what I said during this, if anyhow Easy Me is going to do another freestyle or another song and such, for, for the ones who be trolling and not and such, aim your aim your pen at they ass. Aim it at them for the trolls and all that and such for them social just for them what's they call the keyboard warriors and such aim it at them because them the niggas who don't know ish about music they really don't because they be just the ones who deride on Eminem and such but there's a difference between being an Eminem fan and being a stan and the ones who deride Eminem the most saying about how Anybody who else is featured on this is trash compared to M. Them are the ones you need to aim your pen at. But hopefully y'all watch all the way through the end of this and such. Because I'm pretty sure. I forgot my. I forgot I even had these in my head. But yeah like I said. Hopefully y'all watch all the way through the end and such. And like I said if you made it this far. Put M, put Easy Mill. No actually. 
Put the beef is over. Put that and that lets me know you're a real homie squad member. But it's been your boy homie Ziggy signing out. Make sure to watch my other reactions right here. Follow me on my socials up there and stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.